Hello, everyone. Welcome to class. Hi, hi, hi. We're live on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. Very excited about that. So I'm hoping you can all join us and have a good time with us. We're going to have a wonderful class tonight. So go ahead and sign in and um, say hello. Tell us who's here and we can get started on having a great time. Tonight is super fun. We are going to strike a pose. <laughs> That's our class. It's going to be so good. We're going to learn how to create a line, um, how we're going to create a a body alignment to create a beautiful pose at different points during your dance. So we'll be covering all different things about posing and body lines and extension and posture and all this stuff. So it should be should be really good. So say hello. Hi. We'll get moving. There's Nikki. I'll say hi as well. <laughs> hello, everybody. So. What do you have to tell us? <laughs> I, just have, um, I just have to make sure, let us know if you can hear us okay, yeah. and if we look good, and if we sound good, so yes. that we can make adjustments as needed, mm -hmm. and also make sure you say hi, so that we, so we know can, that you're yeah, here with yeah. us. I think we have some people. Yeah, I think we do. I'm going to take a you. look, and I'm going to see who okay. that is. See who's on either one, and We have Sarah hi. and hi, Susan Sarah. on Facebook, Yeah. and we have... I don't know who this person is. Kumar. Say or we've got Instagram people too. We have Yay. Instagram good, people good, saying good. hi. Welcome. I think, do I, do I remember right, Sarah? Was this your idea? I think. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a special member. I take requests. Right. right. If you guys have something you want to cover, I haven't said that in a while, so I'm really glad that I'm saying it now. If you have requests or things that you want to cover, something that doesn't make sense, a body part that you need to work on, just type it in to the chat or the direct message or the comments on Instagram, and we will work it into a class because right? we're, yeah, yeah. we're just having a lot of fun with this. We have over 80 classes. Um, they're all on my YouTube channel, and then there's over 10 on the IGTV on Instagram now. Yeah. So we we're getting quite a collection. Great and library. We're doing it for you, so I want it to be things that you can use, right? Yeah. So had a great suggestion yes, on indeed. posing. And I've taught a class live on this uh, as far as facial positions, expression, posings from face to body. It was really, really fun. I don't think this is quite as um, uh, successful with the face because I'd have to stand right in front of the camera. <laughs> I feel a little weird about... Okay, here's my face. <laughs> so we're gonna do body alignment and body poses, but all different techniques and all different things nice. to think about. Right. Yes, yes. Um, we can so. also say hi to Barbara. Oh, good. Hi, Barbara. And Abby. Yay, Abby and made it. Sarah said. Oh, I thought maybe she replied too. Okay. She said you guys were awesome in the show. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. We had a show. Thank wow, you. thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, we had a really good show on Sunday, and we had a lot of fun doing it. Um, Nikki did the technical of pretty much the whole show. So yeah, all the all the recorded stuff with yeah. me playing it. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> she, she was saying, I haven't blinked in an hour. Because <laughs> I wanted to do good. I didn't yeah. Make any yeah. Time. I wanted to make sure so the show was the best it could be. So yeah. I kept very still and didn't blink. Like, oh. <laughs> all right. Let's dive in. I'm gonna put on some music. We're gonna listen to Beats Antique. They have a lot of great um, hard um, hard and soft beats in there songs they have a lot of accents and they're so they're really good for posing so we're just going to move around for um one song and get ourselves going so on this one i want you to think about we're going to move kind of slowly i want you to think about extension making yourself as long as you can possibly be and when we bring the arms in different places i want you to reach as far as you can with each limb Right? Everywhere you go, I want you to go as far as you can. Alright? So, extension, posture, and alignment is what we're going to focus on right now. Good belly dance basics. Actually, basics for any kind of dance. Right? We also have Miriam saying hi. Hi, Miriam! And Barbara said her house is so cool that she likes oh. to wear a jacket. So oh. she dives in with the jacket. Yep. But I'm sure we we'll will be warm. That. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we will be warm soon, I right? Yep. Roll forward. Yeah, we are having a cold spell right now here in San Diego. It's what, in the 50, <laughs> below 50? Burr, right? The rest of the country is going, you are spoiled rats. It's so funny. Yeah. I know, but to us it's cold. 
something. So a pose doesn't always have to be at the end. So think about integrating poses midway through following your music. Mm -hmm. And even if there's just a slight hesitation or a little pause, it's a chance to pose. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> there are uh, hard poses, soft poses, still poses, moving poses. All right. So <laughs> So, I, let's, I did like every single yeah. one of those. Like, <laughs> yeah. Go back and 
watch their yeah. routine. Yeah. Every single one of those was good. Every single one. <laughs> so let's look at poses that stop and poses that move. Because when you think, when I think pose, I think stop. Hold still, strike a pose, right? But there are moving poses that are super pretty. And I'll tell you this little secret. A moving pose, if you're not comfortable with poses, a moving pose is a really good primer to get you into the idea of doing a stopping pose. It's a gateway pose. It's a gateway pose! <laughs> I love that! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I know, that's good. That's priceless. So, let's look at this. So, we're gonna, the easiest place to start with posing is your arms. And the way, I, what I mentioned before, full extension. And there's also different angles, so I'll be throwing a bunch of information <laughs> at you. So let's just start with moving versus still. All right, so turn to the side. Um, pop one knee. We're just going to get in a basic position here. And bend both knees and just kind of have a little seat there. Your hip can be on one side or it can be centered. And what we're going to do is just take an arm up in the front, right, about chest high. Now go up to your, um, above your head, circle it back around and then come back into the front. Now bring the arms in, exchange them. Go up and up and up. Now take the front arm around and up and up and up. All right, so I just created an arm sequence, all right? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Isn't that genius the way I did that? <laughs> <laughs> so, so smooth. Yeah, so smooth. <laughs> so, the pose. Moving, moving. Five, six, seven, eight. That's a pose. All right? When you create a pose, it does not, to, not, not have to be still. So, we're doing moving poses. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, what makes it a pose versus a dance move? Your intention, your face, your expression. All right, so for example, look straight ahead. One, two, three, four. Look at the audience. Five, six, seven, eight. Do you see the difference, mm -hmm. right? It's like, this is my cool pose. <laughs> <laughs> now, when it comes to rest and stop, that's the end of it. Right? But the whole thing was a movement. All right? So let's just, I'm keeping it really simple as far as body because the theory is what I want you to get, not the complexity of the pose. I want you to get the theory. So you can do this with anything. One, two, three, four. Eyes at your audience. Yes. Good. I'm assuming that you did it. So <laughs> I think you right. did. I feel that you did. All right? So a moving pose. All right, so let's look at something else. Um, grapevine, let me just show you. I'm gonna get over here. Sorry, Instagram, I'm still here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, a pose can be two counts, four counts, or one count, right? I'm doing a four count moving pose. Take your grapevine, take your outside leg, cross front, side, back, side, front, point, big circle with the arms out, right there. What makes this a pose? Your face, <laughs> your intention, right? And like your presentation, yes, right? Yes, yes. So let's see how we can make this obvious it's a pose. So I want you to just look straight ahead, slightly down. Now look up at your audience and lift your chin. There you go. Again, let's try it. Well, let's go from the other side. All right. Here we are. All right, so, and, so I'm looking not quite at the audience, just slightly lower because I'm enjoying, right, what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, and now I look up at the audience. That's a moving pose because you're coming to a stop, but something is moving. Moving poses typically have a moving limb, an arm or a leg, right? I'm just doing arms right now. So don't worry so much about the body moving because if you're moving into a pose, then that's actually a move. That's actually a move, not so much of a pose. So the pose is typically your arm is settling somewhere or your leg 
is settling somewhere or coming in. Okay, so you can move the legs and arms all you want and take two counts, four counts to get there. And then make it obvious that it's a pose and you kind of look and just kind of hold still and there it is. Your lovely presence. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna. I think we have a, a okay. couple of quite maybe comments right. or questions. Or questions are great. Ah, no, Throw out your questions. Bren just said hi quickly. Oh, Bren's here. Good. Awesome. She said she's gonna catch the rest of it later. Okay. All right. And so, then we had Liz, oh, Liz on, Instagram. on Instagram. Good. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for joining us Yay. from these various places. So. Moving, po we're going to cover a lot of information, so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time on each one. So moving poses are kind of cool, and like I said, they, they kind of gateway you into still poses, <laughs> right? So remember extension, alignment, posture. So let's get in the end pose of our grapevine. Get your balance. Now, when you're in the middle of a grapevine, right, and you touch, sometimes you just touch, but when you pose, you need to, <laughs> you need to, woo, really? Tighten that leg, point the toe, not have so much weight on it, and really make it a nice, strong line, right? So it can be side, it can be back, it can be front, wherever it is, but if it's the end of your movement, then it needs to be really on purpose and very secure and very lovely. So think about full extension, right? Point, my leg is very tight, all right? And as we go up, my fingers are elongated, I'm leading it with my wrist, leading with my wrist and I'm coming down, right? I'm taking four counts. And usually, to make it really effective, you kind of land slow at the end, all right? So it's five, six, seven, eight. Now, let's say you want to change the angle of your face and we'll talk about where your face can be. Front, diagonal, diagonal, up, down or down looking up that's cool as well so you get to play with that so let's take our pose we go here look down bring the arms up circle now as you land with your arms gaze up and lift your chin and look up and that makes it finish so down arms around head comes up now try it again look to the side and down right there now look at the audience. Yes. All right. Down, side, and audience. Down, side, stop at the top. See, you're in a pose, <laughs> right? We made it, right? Here we are. We're in a pose, okay? Arms, you're looking down. Extension through the hands, extension through the arms, and there you are. So once you figure out, let's say this is your practice, this is what you're doing, all right? Around you go, just stop halfway. Does your foot have to be here? No, experiment. Bring your foot in, All right? More of a showgirl pose. That's a beautiful pose. Head to the side, head down, look up. Head up, look down. They all say something different, all right? But the important thing is that you're comfortable and that you kind of find your places to stop. So you can use a bit of a clock. You can do bottom, top, side, side. So there's the bottom, there's the top, there's the side side. You can use all those places or one of each, top and side, or other side, top and side. What you don't want to do is kind of up and kind of down. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's why it's really important that you know your arm positions from um, first, second, fifth, fourth, and you're able to hit them very sharply, right? First, high, well, we do wide second, fifth, fourth, other fourth, fourth to the front, other fourth, <laughs> and fourth to the bottom, uh, for, for horizontal, both sides. Fourth position is an L. If you can get your L, you can move your L all over the place. So as, if you can get your shape to be on a certain position, you're golden. So get in fourth. Now screw up your fourth. There, you see? 
There's no line here. So you want to be precise. You want to be uh, more specific and you want to create. So let's move into creating a line. When your arm is up or wherever your arm is and wherever your foot is, that's the line you're creating from top to bottom. All right. So arms up in fifth, wrists together or cross or fingertip, whatever you want to do up here, whatever is comfortable for you. All right. So straight line, right? It's not all that exciting, <laughs> but it is a straight line. All right. So now take either foot, cross it a little bit in front, put it forward. Now pop your hip. Now pop your rib to the other side. What shape are you making now? What line are you creating? You're creating an S. Right? If you draw the line from the tip of your fingers through your head, shoulders, torso, hip, knee, and foot, there's some kind of an S there, right? That makes sense? So yeah. typically when your hips go one way, your ribs go the other, right? To make it a little bit more graceful. Can you do that? Can you do your S with your arms in second? Why, yes, you can, right? Boom, right? You're still creating an S. Can you do it in fourth? Yes, you can, right? But it just has to be a real fourth. So again, here's my fourth. Now look, not a good one. Uh -uh. Not a good one. So precision is really important that you hit your positions with your arms and you think about creating a line. So extend a foot. Now follow that line up the body, through the torso, out the opposite shoulder. Match your arm as best you can. So do I, hopefully I have it. Do I have a diagonal? Mm -hmm. Maybe? <laughs> All right, so we got tip of fingers, straight down diagonal tip of toes. All right, now, mess with it. Weak <laughs> uh -uh. Weak, right? Or, weak again, okay? Because what's going, there's no line, it's going right? <laughs> so if you're gonna create a line with your leg, finish that same line with your arm, try the other side. Step out, arm. You, ha you have to practice in front of a mirror and then you have to feel it. You have to know where that, you have to know where that is. You can't think that that's diagonal or that's diagonal, right? You have to, so it just takes time to hit it, stand there. What I do, I, I get it, right? I look in the camera, this, in this case, or the mirror. I do my thing. We can put this here, we can put this here, we can match it. We can, you know, wherever, whatever you want to do with this arm, <laughs> right? We'll put it here for now. Actually, we'll lay it, we'll lay it here. So, and then you close your eyes and you feel. When you close your eyes, you take away your visual and you have to go by feel. Close your eyes and feel where your arm is and where your leg is. All right, so now switch sides. Hit it with your eyes closed, hit the pose, feel it. Now open your eyes, did you get it? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> All right, good. It's been but, a while since I haven't yeah. seen myself. I know, <laughs> we're used to working in, in front of a mirror and then when we, if we do work in public or dance for a friend or just dance with friends, we, we just hit it, right? We just yeah. cross, hope, cross our fingers, hope we've got it. But when you remove sight and you just go by sense, it makes a big difference. You have to go inside. So make your S pose. All right, close your eyes. There you go. Feel it. Drop your shoulders. Feel it. Feel it. Okay, stand straight. Drink your arms at your side. Take it out. Shake the whole thing out. Other side, S pose. Get it? And then, whoop. <laughs> I'm teetering over with my eyes closed. All right, open your eyes and see if you have it. All right. It should make a big difference because when you're dancing, you're not always looking in a mirror, mm -hmm. right? So you've got to learn a couple basic ones. Think about extension, think about line, right? Think about curve, and then think about how it feels. All right, I know it's a lot of stuff, but. Yeah, and yeah. also like, how it, it's a spatial awareness thing. Right? It is. To feel the space. All right, let's look at a hard pose versus a soft pose, all right? So, what do you think that is, <laughs> all right? I think you all have an idea. Well, hard means it's gonna, it's gonna hit, right? I think it's going to, I think it's gonna be quicker to me, or, right? 
I think it's gonna, to me, it's gonna be faster, and to me, it's gonna be on one beat. Boom. And I'm going to almost smack myself into position, right? <laughs> so one little trick with your, uh, with your hands is to break your wrist one way or the other. If you put the back of your wrists together, break your wrist forward. If your palms are facing in, break your wrists backward. So the breaking of the wrist one way or the other is one really good trick. So let's say we are coming up here and then we just pop the wrist, just break it, right? So you can come up through the middle and pop. Or up around the outside and pop. Or just up around the outside and you're already broken there. Don't leave your arms straight uh, through the fingertips when the arms are above. It just doesn't look quite as exotic, right? It's building, it's a different style. So like if you're up like this, it's more balletic, right? And if you're like this, it's more jazzy. <laughs> if you're like this, it's more belly dance, right? And we're trying to be belly dance. When you do to the side, that's where it's your opinion, all right? So here's my arm straight, right? Always, always open your fingers and do your, you know, beautiful hands. But look, here's broken wrist, broken wrist, straight. I think they're all fine. Yeah. It's just a matter of your, your personal preference yeah. and your style. So the only time I think it's really important when your arms go up, I don't, I don't, I mean, every now and then you'll see some kind of um, a line to create so that you can see some sort of hip contrast, but it's not, that's not necessarily a pose, right? If you go to stop, boom, this is not as effective. <laughs> as this right it just it just looks better yeah, yeah. i think it kind of looks unfinished it's yeah it kind of does is what i feel yeah because you use that when you like even for spins and stuff that's yeah. you need yeah. that you're there yeah you need that yeah but, when you're but it's not when you stop right so what i see on dancers as they're learning is that extension through the hand is missing so back to the energy extend your arm send your energy all the way down your arm through your fingertips all the way out to the edge of your fingers, wherever you are. And if you push hard, just really push that energy out there, your wrist will break by itself because when you push that hard, that's what happens. You're going to arch the middle of your hand. You're gonna arch or contract your wrist, right? And that's what you end up getting, right? When you push, that's what happens. When you're relaxed or just pushing straight, you get more of a board, right? More of a straight look. When you really extend and push energy out your fingertips, your hand arches by itself. So get used to arching, <laughs> arching the hand, okay? So it can be down, right? But do you see the difference between this, down? Now press and arch. Do you see there's just more character there, right? A lot more character. Or flip it this way. I wouldn't flip it this way. <laughs> I don't think that looks so good, but flipping it up or just arching it down, extending, looks great, all right? So again, you have to play in the mirror. So back to a hard versus a soft pose. So a hard pose, one beat, it's quick, and you're gonna throw your hand, right? That's one thing that a hard pose is. Wherever the hand goes, if I'm just going forward, I'm going to throw it forward. I'm not going to place it, I'm going to throw it. If I go up, let's say, um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that movement. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hard pose. Seven, eight. You're going to throw it, throw it. Right. Don't throw your elbow out. <laughs> Don't throw too hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hard pose. Okay the hands toss and they stop quickly. The feet do the same thing. If you're gonna hard pose with your feet, you're gonna be somewhere in the front, the side, the back, cross, some, somewhere, right? Wherever it is, it's gonna be almost a stomp, but I don't wanna hear it, I don't want you to, right? <laughs> but I want you to put that energy there. So extend your leg out to second position, boom. You contract your quad and your knee, boom. All right, so let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take leg, so arm, arm and leg. So it'll be seven, eight. 
and let's see if we can really go a hard pose, both hands throwing both or both feet. <laughs> One feet. <laughs> One feet. <laughs> All right, so get a nice position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make it snappy, right? It should feel like it hits. It should really, it shouldn't just land, it should hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ooh. eight. <laughs> what? I put your leg like out too soon. That's I was okay. so excited. I was like, yes! <laughs> that's okay. We staggered. It was fine. Okay, okay. Oh, because that's arm and leg like to go together. I was so, they I really, was just so in the power yeah, of the moment. Yeah, they like, go together. Yeah. You have a great point. Check out her feet. Wow, well, thank you. Very strong feet. <laughs> All right, other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight will be the other side. Okay? Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did we do it? I think so. Hopefully. Now, remember, shoulders stay down, chest is lifted, stomach is in. It's, whoa, you're really. It's a full body extension and it's really a lot of muscle to pose. And I was actually going to say, this this kind of thing shows you how strong your posture is. Or yes, is. it does. Because if you don't have good posture, it's going to show a it's lot. It's going to show a lot. <laughs> you just reminded me of one other, one other thing, so we'll do it at the end of this pose. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it. Again. Hold it. <laughs> That's okay. Hold it. Now we'll just have a little chat here. All right. Hold your stomach in. Drop your shoulders. Lift your ribs. Point hard. Point harder. Throw those hands. Hold it. So let's talk about things while we hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel what the muscles are going? Oh God! All right. Take a breath. Release. So this is really good training. Get your pose. Stay there. <laughs> Look at your clock, stay there for 30 seconds, a minute. Hang out and see if you can, uh, right? You might start shaking, things might, uh, yeah. right? And that's a really another good test to your muscle strength and your posture. These are more isometric moves, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That one's harder. Like if you just go, hmm, okay, I can stand here for a few hours, right? <laughs> but if it's some big one, right, it's gonna, it's gonna take some effort yeah. and some strength. Yep. Okay, let's see. Um, so we talked a little bit about head position, um, moving poses versus still poses, hard, soft poses. We didn't do soft poses. Soft poses. Okay, right. so what do you think soft poses are? I think you probably know they're the opposite, <laughs> the opposite of hard poses, right? So a hard pose like we did, boom, boom, it hits like your arm is going through the ceiling, right? But let's say we... Um, do a soft pose. Soft poses typically have a more feminine, whereas a hard pose can be almost, ma I mean, that's not really masculine to me, but it's more masculine than this, right? This is very feminine, it's a very feminine pose. So we'll use that as our soft pose. So let's take a figure eight, and then we'll end up in arm, arm. So we're gonna put arm on hip, hand on hip, opposite hand on leg, and we're gonna move the hip to the side. So remember when you're creating an S, if your hip goes that way, where does your rib go? <laughs> the other way, right? Because you wanna get a nice curve. So it's kind of, get it to where you can hardly breathe. And then you've got it, <laughs> right? But still keep breathing. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so if we do a figure eight, and then we hit bum, bum, that's a pose. But do you see how it was soft? Now, Soft poses typically take two counts. Hard poses typically take one count. So I, I did seven, eight, right? Because I was finishing my pose. But if I was just gonna go seven, eight, or seven, eight, in other words, one move, one, one motion. A soft pose, a lot of times you have kind of into it and then into it, right? A settling in, so that's more of a soft pose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you don't have to give it seven, eight. You don't need to make it on the beat. It's just take two counts to get there. Seven, eight. Did you see the way I just settled in? So we just go seven, eight. If we made it a hard pose, it would be seven, eight, right? We, we, we would make it more um, 
Exactly. Yeah. Snappy. <laughs> Snappy. Snappy. <laughs> So, and the way that I was gonna, I was thinking in the the soft pose is more like a um, melt into it, yes. right? Or like yeah, melt yeah, exactly. Or a, or a yeah. settle into it. Settle yeah. into it, melt into it. Take two counts: seven, eight. But I also right? feel like for slow poses, like you have to milk it. Like that's the yeah. the difference. The yeah. big difference between the two yeah. is when you do a, a snappy hard one, you have right. to you have all that power. But with the slow one, you actually have to like. Draw yeah, it you've got to draw it. Yeah, you've got to, mm, <laughs> right? So if you're doing an arm pose, let's say, let's just bring our arms in and go into any of the fourths that you want to be in. Right? There's <laughs> six to choose from. Multiple choice. Six fourths to pick. It's just an L, right? I'm going to do the um, vertical, all right? So take two counts to get to fourth. Seven, eight. That is a soft pose, all right? Because you took two counts. You did not throw, you did not land hard, you did not go through the wall and the ceiling. So you're here, dancing, 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 and seven, eight. That's it. And I just sort of sink in my hip naturally. Rarely are you just gonna stand there like this and make a pose, <laughs> right? There's gotta be something else going on, right? Full body. Uh, Poses are full body. That's funny. So, two counts for a soft, one count hard hit for a hard pose. All right. Okay. All right, so lots of information came at you, but there's all kinds of techniques that I mentioned, and I think you're gonna grab onto some of them, you'll go, oh, yes, that makes sense. I like that. I like, for, for me, I'm more of a hard poser, so for me, boom, boom, that just makes sense to me, throwing my hand, throwing my foot, love that, right? Soft poses are a little more um, difficult for me. I tend to make soft poses hard, <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put on the song. I don't, you can dance, but I want you to mostly pose. All right. You can transition, right? Transition, any, however, but I want you to keep coming into a pose position, whether it be soft or hard, and hang out there for a few seconds, right? Try your, this is always the fun part, try not to think. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I mean, you can just, your pose can be like, you can be really dumb looking, it's okay. You're just figuring it out. All right, so don't worry about what you what you look like. It's more of a feeling. All right, and I think did we say we're doing the first one? I think you said your, it's a, your song, right? My song, yeah. So just, Nikki's got the advantage. She knows this one. I do. <laughs> Very good for posing. Partially why I chose it. <laughs> it's a great one for posing. It's beats antique, of course. Of course. So one of the best albums. I have to get more. Yes, we I do. I gotta get mm -hmm. a whole bunch more, but Blind Threshold is my favorite. I play this all the time, and this is track one. It's called Egyptic. Okay, so let me turn this up. Yeah. Okay, so let's just check just for... I'll stop talking soon, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning. Did, so let me do this show. I want you to listen, right? Listen, there's bump, 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 bump. This is a chance yeah. for you to do three hard poses. And then I won't tell you what to do after that. <laughs> you, sometimes you miss the first one because you don't know when it's coming. Hopefully you can hear it. Can you tell us when? Yeah. There's three. There's three. All right, so try to get those. See how, see how that lasts? Three hard ones. Just find a place.
That's the most fun I had in a long time. <laughs> you had a definite advantage. <sighs> I tried not to do the moves. Yeah, right. I yeah. tried to do different ones because yeah. I could totally just have gone with the routine, but yeah. I tried to do different things. Yeah. I was trying not to dance. <laughs> it's tricky. You guys, it's really hard to do a whole song of poses. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. How did you guys do? Yeah. <laughs> right in. I want to see how it went. And when they took Plus, it's the longest I've gone without talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I gather all the time. I've always got something to say. But that felt really good. Some of the poses felt great, and some of them just, oh dear, all right, let's just do something different. So, I mean, I didn't feel completely comfortable with all of it either. It's just an experience, right? So put on a song that has lots of stops and you could feel that one. Hopefully you've got um, slow poses, fast poses, hard poses, soft poses, right? I think that hit it all, right? Hard, soft. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It did. Hard, and soft. moving still. Those are yeah. The, yeah, moving poses, still poses. So. That's one of my favorite songs for poses, because <laughs> yep. it does so many. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that felt that so That was good. really fun. We should, that was a, we should do something like that. I know. Like the play is just, I know. It's just play super, <laughs> super fun, super fun. So thank you for joining me. I had a really good time. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Yeah. We just love this. That was great. <laughs> this is a, the highlight of our week. So yeah. we will see you again on Saturday. At six, we'll be back. Hopefully, you all can join us. Brenda says stuff. that was awesome. Oh, That's good! I said. hope that was fun. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, I think it's nice just to let go and do it and have a little parameter. Say, okay, we're just going to do this, and then the rest is your creativity. That's super cool. So that's awesome. Thank you again. Um, I have a class. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Yeah, class like yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, beginning belly dance through Eventbrite. So uh, it's on Meetup, it's also on my Facebook channel, and it's a Zoom class. So if you are a beginner and you need some more private instruction, semi-private, we've got about six people in the class, I've got that series going. And like I said, we'll be back here live on Saturday. And yes. what else is happening? Um, I don't think anything else specifically, but okay. you might want to remind people that you can do actual private lessons. Oh yeah, if you do want a private lesson. Zoom. I'm doing more and more because people, I've got, but nobody's in um, California. They're all across the country. <laughs> but yeah, I know, I've got uh, Ohio and Pennsylvania and Washington. and That's really uh, cool. So if you do want private uh, lessons, I do to go by the series or by individuals and you can have one, two, three people. It can be private, semi-private via Zoom. And it's so much fun. It's so yeah, much. yeah. It's yes, great. it is. I it's hear, great. I hear the the joy yeah. when I'm around the studio. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> we have a good time. All right. Thanks again. I'll say good night, and um, I'll see you shortly. Yeah, and also don't forget to um, all the videos are on YouTube and to subscribe mm -hmm. and comment and like everywhere and share everywhere. Yeah, do all that stuff. All that stuff. Hearts, likes, all that things. All those good yeah. things. I'm okay. gonna go this way so I can. Shut it oh, down. Oh yeah, so Becky's got to reach up and turn do these, all these off. Things. So, oh, Abby said that was great. Thank you. Oh, good. Good. All right. All right. We're good gonna night, say everyone. Good night to you. Instagram. Post. Okay. Good night, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you soon. Good night, Facebook. And then say bye to Facebook.